We took a quick look earlier at adding collaboration spaces to our team's conversations. You know, when we need to quickly come up with ideas, add a bullet point list, tasks and the like, we added a loop component. So let's take a closer look at some of the other options we have available as we do that within a Teams chat. Uh, again, we'll start off with a Teams chat. We will click on the loop component and you'll see that there's quite a list here already available to start from. Often we just need to list something, so a bullet list might be good when we don't need any particular order. Maybe if we do need an order, then we could use a numbered list so we can signify that order, one, two, three, etc. We could just start off with a paragraph and just, just get started. But some of these other ones are quite handy too, where we want to capture information, we've got something that's a bit more ordered and has a bit more purpose. We could start off with this one like here, a task list, let's do that. So we'll click a task list and what that will do is it will create a loop component, a file in the background and it adds our task list, just a simple one, uh, right there in the conversation. So things to do relating to presentation planning. Okay, so I haven't sent this off, uh, but I've already got this list here that I can start with Laura and now it's going to be available to her in the conversation. Um, so we could start filling this out. What are some of the things that we need to do? Come up with an outline uh, and I'll leave that up to Laura. Okay, so that's assigned to Laura. Um, and I'm going to find related references and research. Okay, and assign that to me. So quick, easy task list. We can come back to that, we can use it, or we can actually check out where this goes through to in our Microsoft To-Do or our planner uh, so that we can add that to, to the things that we're working on. But there's other things that we can add to this loop as well. So now that we've got this collaboration space, we're not just limited to what we, we started off with. If we use a forward slash, this shows the same list that we saw earlier with a few more things that, that we might want to use. Um, so we've got a bullet point list that we could add that. So again, just a bullet pointed list. We could use a forward slash and add a voting table. So this one's quite handy when you might want to come up with ideas and list them out between you know, a few people in the, in the chat and you can list the pros and cons and you can also vote on that. So this might happen in real time, it might happen um, after the chat and then you can catch up and see what the results are after a day or so and make a decision. Good, simple way of making a decision. Uh, so there's lots of different things you can do um, with Loop and it's really about combining things to suit your purposes, but the point is here that you're able to add this collaborative space very quick and easy uh, between the people that are in the chat, and you're not hunting around to try and find a place to collaborate, which notebook, which document, which team, etc. Um, so think about that as a way of quickly adding collaboration and explore some of those components uh, to put them into different combinations to suit your needs and see where this goes. I'm sure that there'll be more uh, in the com component space um, as time goes on.